You borrow a spoon. You're at this school calf, the work lunchroom. You're huddled into a ball, weeping, bloody tears in a ditch. Who knows? You borrow a spoon from someone and say, I'm going to show you something crazy with this spoon. And in fact, I'm going to bet you a buck. I'm going to bet with my buck here. I'm going to get bet you a buck. There it is. I'm going to bet you a buck. I'm going to do something crazy with the spoon. Watch. Bet you a buck you're going to remember this for the rest of your life. You wrap up the spoon like this. You say, maybe you saw the movie Exorcist, a classic horror movie. In it, the star, Linda Blair, I believe, her head turns. It turns. It's creepy. You say, watch the bowl of the spoon. I just hold it like this. Now watch. Just like that. Just like that, it turned. And I go, yeah, that's a bit whacked and weird. What have you been doing? <laughs> and you go, no, no, really, look. Look, look, just there. They can see it. It did, in fact, turn. It's twisted. Nobody can straighten it. There's nothing quite like people assuming they know the secret method. Their guards drop, they relax, and then you fry their brains like an egg on a frying pan. I love that part. So get a plastic spoon and a lighter. And all you're going to do is heat up the spoon. Okay, you wave it underneath there, you heat it up, get it nice and warm, you don't want to blacken. And then once it's warm enough, you're going to give it a twist. Something like this, I did it beforehand. Give it a nice firm twist and either blow it and cool it off or run it under some cold water. That's your secret prep. Takes maybe 30 seconds to do with a bit of practice, not a big deal. Now, you do not have to switch spoons, but for this performance I did. And all I had, nothing like money to misdirect people, I had the twisted spoon in my right pants pocket. Uh, I'm sorry, I had these, uh, the, un, uh, the twisted spoon in my right pants pocket, the doll bill in my left pants pocket, and then you can borrow this. Okay, you borrow it from somebody, at, like I said, the school calf, the work lunchroom. Borrow this and say, I'm going to bet you a buck and hold it. Make sure they can see everything's copacetic. You can even hand it to them. Anything weird about that? I mean, when you blow on it, you don't get like a whistling sound. Oh, well, that's weird. You don't actually get that. And then you hold it like this. Then I move, boom, move both hands in my pockets at the same time. I'm here and I say, I'm going to bet you a dollar. And I'm going like, to put my hand in the pockets. Here I switch spoons in my right hand, come up with a dollar bill and say, I'll bet you this buck. People will swear this never left their sight. Just keep it moving. Then I take this and I wrap the dollar bill around it. You are so far ahead now. Okay? Then I'm going to hold the spoon like this, with both hands together, so that my thumb is free to roll the spoon at the bottom there. And I mentioned The Exorcist, the idea of someone's head turning, zombie movies, whatever. And you go, watch, it's the power of my mind. And I lean in and I make sure my thumb's kind of hidden behind my hand here as I get and go, and some sort of ancient, weird, cannibalistic uh, mutterings. Uh, and then I slowly, with my thumb, just revolve the spoon from the very base of it. And of course, everyone's going, Oh my God, this is lame. He's just making it roll with his thumb. And then when you lift this sucker up and they see the bend and you got nothing else in your hands, it is one sweet, sweet trick. Oh, and like I said, they don't have to switch spoons. I think it adds a lot to it, but you can just start having prepared this. So sort of even, you could even be eating something with it and then just to say, hey, let me show you something cool with the spoon. Uh, you have a bill I can borrow and borrow their bill and go from there.